So Nebel's question is also a graph of f of x, right? It's a graph of f of x that looks very excitingly like this. It's just one graph drawn on um, the Cartesian plane and there is something that cuts like this. And we know that um, this graph passes here when y is 20. We don't know this is apparently p and we know that this is equal to five. They say to you here, uh, this is also another point, which is point R. This is exactly what I was saying, guys. They're not calling it F, they're calling it G. Big deal, nothing's different there. G of X is, look at what they're doing there. X cubed plus BX squared plus CX plus D. No complications there. Analyze your questions before you even start answering, all right? What did I say to you? They're saying to you here, you need to show that B is one, C is minus 16, and you need to show that D is equal to 20. So they are asking you to find this number, this number, and that number there. Already we know something very exciting, that our A was given as one, even though the examiner is not specifying and hiding it. We definitely know that the approach is gonna be Y is A into X minus X1 into X minus X2 squared. Why? Because we know uh, this is basically where there's a bouncing point. The bouncing point is repeating. So we are certainly going to use this idea. Now we're gonna have y is a is one, x minus minus five there on the far left will amount to plus five into x minus x value at point P is unknown. Now once you're done substituting your x1 and substituting your x2, which is one and five, I mean um, x of P and five, what is going to happen now? This is where you are now going to take the point. That 20 there, the point where the graph cuts the y-axis, the coordinates are zero is to 20. That's the full coordinate. So I'm gonna take that and replace on my graph. Where I see y, I'm putting 20. I've got one into where I see x, I've got zero plus five into zero minus x of p squared, which from here you guys can be able to simplify and work out the solution because you're gonna have 20 is equal to zero, plus five is five, you are sitting with five into x of p squared. What happened to the minus? Anything squared is always positive. You divide both sides um, by five, you're gonna get four is x of p squared. If you take out the square root on both sides, your x value of p is going to come out as exactly the square root of four, which is plus minus two. But based on the position of p, we can then conclude that the x value of p is actually equal to uh, not negative, but positive two. So this number here, is a plus two, and if you could replace them back, you will then be able to find the equation of g, right? g of x, which is gonna be x plus five into x um, minus two squared, and then you guys, I know, I trust your algebraic skills in terms of simplifying this, you're not going to struggle to find the solution in trying, uh, in trying to find the answer to this. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, guys. I hope you learned something from today's program. You understand how to find defining equations, you understand how to draw cubic graphs, and you know how to play around with a lot of what you've been playing around with.